Okay people, so this is the video that some of you have been waiting for. Uh, the Marshall Muck Spreader, a tour of our new Marshall Muck Spreader. Um, as I saw, you probably saw in our old, the last video I did, uh, the old one is pretty clapped out. I think it's 16 or 17 years old. Uh, so we've finally bought a new one. Um, we'll have a little chat about um, the Muck Spreader as we walk around. So we'll just have a quick look at it. Um, obviously lovely and shiny and red. <laughs> nice colour. Um, supplied by local dealer Lister Wilder. Um, before before I say anything, I just thought I'd say I'm not paid to promote any of these people. Um, you might think I'm promoting Marshall or Lister Wilder. I'm just saying it as, as it is really as a farmer buying a bit of kit. Um, Marshalls have got a website. Actually, really good to have a look on there. Their stuff, really interesting stuff on there. Um, personal experience with dealing with them has been really good. I do like the lady who sells the spare. She's got a lovely Scottish accent. If you phone up, she's really polite and really nice actually. Because the old mucks but I've bought new flails for in the past. Um, yeah, so I'm not plugging Marshall or um, Lister Wilder. I'm just I'm just saying it as it is. Uh, Lister Wilder, you can look on their website as well. They've got a nice lot of tractors on there for you buffs that are interested in tractors. Um, but let's have a look at this. We we've been buying the Marshall gear for a long time now, and I always like it actually because it's really well made. If you look at the steel thickness on here good thickness of steel which is really important. I'll just look around this because it is a bit different from our old um, muck spreader. Uh, first thing I've noticed is they've got rid of the, there's some little catches things here, one on the top and one on either side to take the cover off and they put a bolt in place. Now I'm not such a big fan of that because the thing is the other one you could undo that anywhere. The problem with that is I need to have a spanner with me at any time so I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Um, P2 comes with it, that's good because I wasn't sure whether it did. And there's a hitch here. Um, let's have another look back round. Um, they've got a piece of wood on here. That's the first thing that always goes, actually. I'm not sure why they put a piece of wood on. I don't know why they just don't build up with steel or something, but perhaps it's a lot cheaper to bolt a bit of wood on. Um, we'll look out around the outside before we get in. Um, so this is interesting. You might like these tyres. These were 400s. Um, now I did get some quotes for other tyres, uh, sorry not other tyres, from other people selling this muck spreader and this one came in as the only one with the extra big tyres for the same money so um, I did a deal with it on that which is good, um, hopefully there will be a little, little be bit less compaction. QC checked, very good, well done Marshall. Um, coming on through, the light fittings, the other, this is one thing, bane of my life, I always seem to hit these. It's good they've got the steel cover on them, but I can almost guarantee I'll whack that and these have come off. I like the way they've galvanised it. It is quite a good idea to have um, have a, a lights on the back. I was just thinking, this, this bit of wood actually, it's, it's treated with something, but it'd be better if it was recycled plastic or something, because this, this, this does tend to rot with the muck. Um, coming on through, again, sturdily built at the back. This is slightly different than the other one. They've got these holes in there. I'm not sure what that's about. The bearing, the good thing about this is the bearings come off quite easily. I haven't done a video about replacing those, but um, they just unbolt. And as long as you hold, have someone there to hold that up, it's just a couple of grub screws there, come undone, and you're away. Drain cover, not actually used that yet. Um, Coming on round, I think this is slightly different. I'm pretty sure the other one's got a piece of metal along here. But, uh, and I must learn my lesson of making sure that I clean this. Really, what a, a good thing would be if that was angled a little bit like that because the muck tends to sit on there. But I think that'd probably be okay. I think it's slightly different than the other one. Um, look at the thickness of the steel on there, though. That's really good, isn't it? Um, that stopped working on ours, which is why the lid's not up, but it, this one should be okay. So more, more or less identical to the other, slight, slight tweaks around it, but not much different. Um, which is why I bought another one of these, because at the end of the day they are good. Let's have a look inside. Um, shall I climb inside? What do you reckon? Old farmer boy climbing inside a muck spreader, might as well do it while it's clean. Can't do it when it's dirty. Well I have done it when it's dirty, because I've had to change the flare leads. Let's get inside.
Okay, so I am inside. A um, bit of water's got in, which is a bit annoying. I don't really want any water in here. It's my fault for leaving it outside. Um, and of course, it's not tipped up, so it's all gone down one end, which is the wrong end for the drain plug. Look. But uh, it won't be long before we're using it, so I don't think that's going to matter. Um, so, I mean, when it arrived, there was none of this rust on it. It's been obviously come straight from the factory. I think there was a two week delay on ordering. So they had to virtually, I presume they made them to order. Um, but sadly, now I've got a um, bit of rust on it. So it's not brand new, brand new. Because I've been sat here a few weeks before I got around to making this video. So, oh, look, I think that's stuck with paint. It blooming is. I think. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. I'm going to have to get a hammer on that. So, all it is is the paint, I think, is dried. And that, that should, that should float, but it's not. Um, let's have a look down this end. There's one down this end. Look at the water. Yeah, that, that one's all right. So it's just uh, a bit stick. I have to tap that with a hammer. So uh, just looking along here, I don't know how many chains there are. Oh, it's so smooth because look at this. You'll never see it this good again. Um, so it's very simple actually. The flails just go round. The the drive shaft thing here just goes round and round and round. These flails that you got to have a good clearance on the side. Um, just go round and flip the muck out. Uh, the one thing you have, what happens is over time, is that these chains stretch where they wear and then you end up with these whacking on the side, that's what knackers your spreader out, so you've got to be a bit careful to take a link out or something. Um, and these are slightly different, so they've made these slightly different in the fact that um, they didn't have this outer bit on before. Now I don't know whether that's just to make the manufacturing process easier, or whether it's a, to do with being sturdy. But it's quite a simple thing to change a bolt. You just un you just undo the bolt there. Sorry, change the flail. Undo the bolt there. This pops out, and you um, put a new new one on. Or well, what I do is I is when that link's worn, I just make it a bit shorter. Uh, they will go eventually. The flail heads are slightly different than the other ones. They weren't this funny shape. They were just square before. Don't know how much difference that makes. Um, and I oh yeah, look, there's the square ones there. That's a bit odd. I think the heavy ones are at the end, I think I remember. So heavy, square ones there. Oh, how many more square ones there are? That's the only square one. Maybe, maybe they just changed the design and then went, ran out of square ones. But I mean, let's face it, it doesn't matter which square or that shape, it, it's gonna whack out the up pretty quick. Anyway, and of course the lid lifts up. Oh, it's so slippery. What's along here? Little rubber rubber stop. Didn't used to have that. I've never seen that before. On the ends there, stop the lid banging down. That's a good idea because it does come down with a crunch sometimes. Right, anyway, I'm gonna get out. There we go, so we'll be using that. More in the winter time, really. I'm not planning to use it just yet. I was just sat there. I know I need to swap it over on the tractor, but you know, just being so busy with other stuff, it's just left there, parked up, really. Uh, not doing any harm, really. We'll get using that in the winter. Scared to get muck on it, really. It seems a shame to. Oh, it's lovely and new and shiny. It seems a shame to get actually get muck on it. Um, let's have a quick look. We've got another Marshall thing here. Let's go and have a look at that. Okay, so. Uh, you sort of looked at that new uh, muck spreader and you've seen my old muck spreader. What's well, interesting, they make other stuff and on this farm we've got two other little trailers. You've seen them in action and other, other things. Um, and this is one of them. I think they're both Marshall trailers. This one's pretty old. I like this because I just noticed it the other day. I was uh, coming through here. I noticed it's got... Look. I'd love to know when that was made. Can you see that? Made by Charles Marshall and co. Bucksburn, Bucksburn near Aberdeen. Machine number 7302. I wonder if they've got any record of that in their office. And I love the phone number. Dice 777-8. slash That's a little, that must be really old. So I, I don't know how old this trailer is, but it's been here all my life. I'd say it's probably 50 years old. 
I did give it a coat of paint a few years ago and some varnish just to keep it up together. But I've been using it in the last few days. So this Marshall kit, you know, it's nice when they, someone makes this stuff, it's still around. But uh, I wonder who Charles Marshall was. I presume it's a family company. So um, I hope it is still a family company. I don't know. Maybe I'll we'll have to send them a link to this email and let them see what they think about it. But uh, anyway, um, our link with Marshalls has been probably at least 50 years on this farm. This is our third Marshall muck spreader. Two Marshall trailers. Never know, I might buy some more stuff. Perhaps they send me a free one. <laughs> Unlikely. Uh, anyway, guys, um, that was an update on the trailer. Oh, hang on. Let me just say, I've just been using Farmer P's trailer. It's not here. It's in another shed. I can't even bother to walk over there. Been using Farmer P's yellow trailer for mucking out. I didn't make a video of that because I was too busy doing stuff. But I've got muck on it. But I, I, I will do a video with it being used at some point. Anyway, that's just a little update on trailers and muck spreaders and da-da-da, everything else. Okay, cheers, guys.